Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is precisely the game you want it to be. Like what you'd expect from an open world stealth game, there is a very large assortment of areas you can explore and stealth. As a game that prides itself for paying attention to lots of measly details, the surprising part is that you get to experience the game's attempt to turn all these potentially realistic gameplay mechanics into a comedy, like the one you've seen before in the sequels or prequels, turning all the enemies you assaulted into allies by launching them to the sky with a balloon. Isn't he dead? Doing the same with a goat and a dog. Smoking pot to advance time and distracting enemies with a pathetic cardboard soldier disguise or static 2D porn. Seriously, how backed up are these guys? The combat mechanic is similar to previous games where you have to utilize a variety of advanced weaponry that make much less sense than the watchdog's OP iPhone, some of which are exploding frisbees, a fancy term for high-tech balloons, default and recovery system, and the cardboard box inside the cardboard box. The combat ultimately culminated into being creatively stealthy or being an all-out shooting game because you suck at waiting and hiding. Still fun though, you get to play as Venom Snake, Punished Snake, Naked Snake, and Big Boss who are all exactly the same character with different stripper codenames. You will also meet lots of characters through your journeys. There's Jackie, the Asian. Quiet, who is quiet. She's a sexy sniper with supernatural abilities, among other things. And a spectacular reveal that will leave you players amazed at how he makes all of these games' ridiculous mechanics make much more sense. Deadpool. Say what? Spoiler alert! And once you finish the last good Metal Gear game ever, witness Konami, they made this, wipe their best game developer out of existence, and see their greed turn the Metal Gear franchise into the next Castlevania and Silent Hill, towards a spiral of bad spin-offs, unworthy sequels, and shameful product placements. Uh, these are actually boots that were designed by Shinkawa-san in collaboration with Puma and uh, we will actually have these for sale as merchandise. That will leave you wondering, what the hell happened anyway? But don't worry, since by 2016, Kojima will start working on the next Deadpool game. Oh yeah, take that Konami. The verdict for the Phantom Pain is a solid 5 out of 10. Get it? From here on out, you're on your own. You have to handle this mission yourself. He's also able to join Snake on his missions and is an example of the new buddy system that's been implemented in The Phantom Pain. Subscribe and leave a comment for the next game you want us to review from the future.